what's up y'all welcome to my channel my name is Tamika or you can call me T I'm back with another video today is gonna be um, a Amazon haul I got a few goodies um, to kind of upgrade my vlogging so I got some tech things and a couple mm, maybe one or two personal things so let's just get right into it first things first I already opened the boxes so we don't have to deal with that so the first thing I got was a external hard drive. Um, give me a sec, I'll tell you how much it costs. And by the way, all of these things I did not get on Cyber Monday. I am not a true shopper, I only buy things as I need them. So anyways, um, I decided that I wanted to add some accessories to um, to my phone camera instead of purchasing a camera because I'm not ready to make that type of commitment yet. Um, so the external hard drive was $99. Um, it was on sale, but like I said, not it wasn't a Cyber Monday sale, but it is the holidays, so everything is on sale. I couldn't find my um, box cutter, so I'm using some broken scissors. Whatever works, right? All right, let's get to opening this thing. These aren't doing a very good job, but we're gonna make it work. So this external um, hard drive is four terabytes and it was $99 on sale. Comes with the USB. Instruction manual, probably don't need it. Tech wise, I'm usually pretty good. I'm not a pro by any means when it comes to tech, but I'm pretty knowledgeable. So this is what it looks like. It's pretty small, as you can see the size of it. Next thing I got, it has nothing to do with vlogging. However, it has everything to do with my charging because I'm tired of all these little cords everywhere. So this one is a 3-in-1 fast wireless charger. Looks like that. And this wireless charger was $29.99. Well, it seems a little... Okay, so it comes flat. You can lift it up. It has a little stand behind it, kickstand to charge the phone. This is for the Apple Watch and this is for if you have AirPods. I have AirPods, the second generation. They still work perfectly fine. And then it comes with the USB and the adapter. Oh, this one I'm really excited for because I get to improve the quality of the sound when I'm talking on my video. So this is a wireless mic and she costs $32.98. Um, I did do some research. I found this mic actually um, on a YouTube channel. Um, the channel is called, I think, <laughs> I think it's called Think Media or Media Think, something like that. And they always have um, good um, vlogging products to share. So I'm really hoping this is a good one. Uh, it comes with a manual, business card, all the info. That's cool. So here's the mic. Here is the piece that you, let me take it out. This is the mic. This is the piece that you stick in the phone. That's what makes it wireless. This is an attachment 
for the mic. You can clip it on. I'm not gonna attach it yet. Not until I get ready to use it. And then, let's see what this, this is all about. Child, I don't know, I'll figure it out later. Oh, it's a charging cable. So, that's my wireless mic. Hopefully, it'll make the quality sound better. Because I am going to try to get into more um, chit-chatting with you all versus just playing a montage with like music. I hate this. What happened to the old school bubble? Um, next thing I got was a car mount. Right now, I have one of those vent uh, mounts from... Ooh, what's the name of that company where you have the um, grip on the back the was it pop sockets pop tops pop whatever anyways I have that car vent so anyways this car mount was $17.99 it is a suction car mount you can put it on your windshield your dash Okay, so I will have to put it together. So I'm just gonna put it back in the box. But I'll put it up one more time so you can see what it looks like. And that's just for better like recording if I do like a, a car chit chat. Um, and so I have a tripod now, however, it's kind of bulky and especially to take out in public. So I thought I would get a smaller one. And this one, I saw another um, YouTuber or well, a lot of YouTubers actually have this one and they use it for like a true vlogging camera. And so I thought I'd give it a try. And this tripod was $23.95. The only thing that's missing from this is I had to purchase the um, the clamp separately, which was fine. I think the clamp was like $7.99 and it's not in this delivery. Unfortunately, it will be delivered. It says Wednesday. Hopefully it comes sooner because these all this was supposed to be delivered on Wednesday, but it got delivered today, which is Sunday. Great. So anyways, I'll show you the mount anyways. So I think it's called a cold shoe. So I, again, I had to buy the claw separately to attach to the top. And then this is a, I forgot what they call it. I forget all the tech terms, but I can attach like a, a light to it or a mic to external mic to it and um, to hold it in place. Girl. So that's what it looks like open and close. Let's see, you guys are on my tripod now. I think this one is slightly smaller maybe by like a couple of inches I like it it feels more sturdy but once I put it together I'll come back and follow up and let you guys know how I feel about it the tripod, the tripod that I have now I got it from Target like months ago um, even before I decided to start vlogging because I needed a tripod but um so I got it it doesn't matter when I got it I got it from Target it's a heyday it is a cream color and it's nice it works um I think it'll work better for like what I'm doing now when I'm at home because it's taller than the one I just purchased that was the reason why I bought it because I did need a tripod so Moving forward, I bought a box light. It's a LED light. Um, remember 
So on the tripod right here, I think this is called the cold shoe mount. Anyways, I can put my light here for better lighting when I'm doing like the sit down chit chats. And this baby, she costs $18.36. You get a manual. Oh, I love this. It's really small. I feel like if I had to use it out in public for whatever reason, it would be perfect. So here she is. And, ooh, okay. Let's put the light on me and see. When I look at this, we'll see what it looks like, but it's cool. And this is a charging cable. And then, honestly, I have to do more research on this. I don't exactly know what this means, but I'm sure it has something to do with um, the lighting, how bright it is, or how dim it is. So... The last thing I got is something personal. So other than my Apple ecosystem for personal products, I got all the Amazon. This one, it is the stackable shoe boxes. I've been wanting this for a long time. I'm going to open one. Don't know if I will try to assemble one while I'm on camera. We'll see. So this is a pack of 12. Um, they are clear stackable shoe organizers. And this pack of 12 was $37.99. Again, everything I purchased was on sale. I did not participate in Cyber Monday. But it's the holiday, so everything is on sale, right? Anyways, I feel like this was a reasonable price in comparison to the container store. I love the container store, but the store shoes, I don't, don't want to talk about their prices. Certain things I will get from the container store, but shoe boxes, I don't think that's necessary. Anyways, so the reason why I've been wanting these for a while and I finally pulled the trigger. Not that they're expensive or not that I couldn't afford them. Um, I just had to figure out if I really, really wanted them. Um, these are, I think they're like the medium size. And so anyways, right now I have a the, the shoe rack that hangs. I hate it, it's tacky. Don't know why I even purchased that. I've had it for a couple of years now. I absolutely hate it. I would have. I wish I would have purchased this sooner, but it comes packaged like this. Okay, y'all. One last thing, and this was not purchased through Amazon. I actually got this at Target a few days ago. I thought I'd try it out. So I needed some new sunscreen, and I ran out today, Sunday. I think I used the last yesterday. Um, I usually buy the Tula brand, T-U-L-A. Um, it comes in a yellow tube and it has like an aqua print. I love that um, product. However, I am all for supporting like small businesses, black and brown businesses. So um, I've heard a lot about this black girl sunscreen and I thought I would give it a try. I've, I've seen mixed reviews on it. People either hate it or they love it. I haven't heard anyone in between. So this is what the product looks like. Um, it comes sealed. I haven't used it yet because I didn't go outside today. Um, but I don't know if I'm going to come back and do a review or not. But I think you guys should try it out. Like I said, the reviews that I've seen and heard have been mixed as far as like people either hate it or they love it there's there's been no in between so thanks for watching this haul and i'll see you so this is what the new tripod looks like with the light attached to it that is called a cold shoe mount i finally figured it out 
these technical terms and it feels a little more sturdy than the current tripod that I use um, we'll see once I get the phone clamp claw whatever real-time view of the charging station for my devices so glad I finally purchased this now I don't have to have multiple cords just hanging around Okay, y'all, now that I've put two together, I'm gonna continue this off of camera. Okay, y'all, this is what I was working with before, the over the door rack, and now let's check out the uh, update on how long it took me to put this together. Um, it probably took me about an hour, maybe even an hour and a half because my carpal tunnel kicked in and I had to keep stopping and pausing, folding in the tabs to, um, snap in the back and the front um, took a little a little bit out of me so um, yeah but other than that I mean I think they're pretty sturdy I mean even snapping them together um, on the sides where like right here even snapping those in were easy a lot of people were complaining about how difficult it was to put these together but I didn't find it difficult at all so yeah, found these on Amazon, a pack of 12, it was $37.98 or something like that. Check it out. Once I 
love y'all. I am headed in to grab some shoes. I'm gonna go to Nordstrom Rack. I don't really like Nordstrom Rack. I usually just go into Nordstrom, but I don't feel like going to the mall. So let me see what they have. I rarely find anything in Nordstrom Rack, but there's also a DSW beside it. So I'm gonna slide in there also. Um, I got some into um, jury duty. So I need some actual shoes to wear appropriate shoes to wear because you know me I rock my sneakers all the time um but yeah so I'm gonna bring y'all along and we'll see what And that's why you're single. That is ugly. As y'all know, I went to Nordstrom Rack to pick up a pair of shoes um, for my jury duty. Well, I ended up coming home with two bags. I usually don't find anything in Nordstrom, but today I found a few things. So, that I got for my jury duty. I made sure I got something that I would wear again, and these were $49.97. I got these Nike Air Maxes, so cute, so comfortable. These were $59.97. And I got a pair of New Balances. New Balances are very comfortable. I like, I'm not a pink girl. However, these caught my eye, and especially with the purple in them. So I got these and they were 
and PJs. I usually like to wear like short sets. I don't like to wear pants. However, I found myself wearing pants lately and I needed a few more sets of pants pajamas. And I thought these were really cute. So I got this one, which was in the clip. This one was $34.97. It has long sleeves. And then the pants to match them. I got this one, which was $24.97. This one's a tank top. And it's so cute. The back is laced out. And then the pants drawstring and then they have the lace on the bottom so well, that was cute and i got one more set um this one is pretty basic um it's another one like the last one but it is striped gray lace in the back just something cozy and lightweight to sleep in also it has a drawstring and the lace on the bottom of the leg the other thing i purchased because listen in socal i usually can run out in like a hoodie or my jean jacket with a long sleeve shirt something you know real light because it don't get too cold well honey listen it's gotten cold okay when i say cold it's cold like today the high was only 50 so i picked up a coat an actual coat in socal right um this coat was 65 the original price on it was like 250 I found it in the women's section, but when I got to the register and they rang it up, it was from the men's department. But I kept it because I thought it was cute. It could pass for a woman's jacket, you think? So, and it has the nautica detail on the back. It has the nautica detail on the sleeve. So I wouldn't say that I go for name brands, I go for quality. So we yeah. will try this on. I tried it on in the store. I think if it's well, I like my coats to be oversized. I think it's good. I'll probably just have to roll up the sleeves. Um, but yeah, it cuts a little bit past my waist, which is fine. So yeah. That was 65. Original price was like 250. And then, oh, she put the original tag in here. Yeah, I was right. The original price was 250. And I got it for 65. So, and then I got a belt because I needed a belt. I don't wear belts, but I felt like I needed one. So, there you have it. All right, down with Nordstrom. The next place I went to was Ulta. I picked up some skincare things. I have this problem. When I get pimples, I tend to pick at them. So I get all these dark spots and scars. So I'm trying to get rid of them. And I already have a couple of things for scarring, but um, I've been using this um, Good Molecules Discoloration Correcting Serum. I've been using this since like maybe August. And you're supposed to use it twice a day. I usually only use it once a day because at night, I don't know. I don't like to put a lot of stuff on my face at night. Usually at night, I just clean my face and put some moisturizer on it. That's it. So I think my scars could have cleared up, uh, could clear up a little quicker if I did use it twice a day. But it is what it is, you know. And then I've heard so much about these Mighty Patches for acne um and again like i pick my face so i feel like those would definitely help me stop picking my face when i do tend to have breakouts and then i picked up some rose water toner i just wanted to try something different for a toner because truth be told the only thing i use for a toner is witch hazel um which i think it works well and then i just picked up some more body scrub this is my favorite I always buy it. Um, I usually get it from Target, but while I was in Ulta, I thought I would just pick it up. 
But yeah, that's my little haul for today. And let me just say this. You guys, don't get used to shopping hauls because truth be told, I am not a shopper. However, lately, there have been things that I have been needing to pick up, um, things that I've needed. And then, you know, with the... Um, Amazon haul. A lot of that stuff was for this purpose right here for me vlogging. So again, don't get used to shopping haul and things like that because I'm not a true shopper. I'm really not. I'm just showing you guys what basically I did today. All right.